Hi guys, so it's the Artistic Bookworm here, or Emma. So, in today's video I thought I'd do something a little different. I've done some three marker challenges before that I haven't recorded. And so I thought today I would do three three marker challenges just as a quick entertaining video. So you've already seen the videos for these two guys that I did and yesterday I did this guy and so I thought actually it'd be fun to do the inking again and do a three marker challenge for each of them so I've got Bulbasaur, Ivysaur and Volpix, my Christmas version and there's, here are the originals So, I'm just going to put these guys over here now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eyes and pick out a load of pens from... Oh, if I put that there. What I'll do is I'll pick out about ten pens from my Copic collection, bring them here, and then choose three. Then I'll put those pens, those seven pens that are left over back close my eyes again, pick three more, uh, pick ten more even, put them over here, pick three of those, all again, set my eyes closed each time, and same for the last one. So I'll end up with three colours for Bulbasaur, three colours for Ivysaur, and three colours for Volpix. So, let's begin. Okay guys, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh, and 10. So these were the three, oh, oh wow. So these were the three I picked for Bulbasaur. So I've got YG11, YG41, and, oh, yep, yeah, so. Oh to get them all the right way around right okay let's just try and get it to focus yeah so yg11 yg41 and n5 were the three that i picked from that so here's all the other ones i picked so i picked majority green or the yellow greens i should say really so i'll just put these all back and we'll start again So these are my colours for Ivysaur, so E000, C4 and FYR1, interesting choice. So again, oh that one's not fair, no, so, so again for Bulbasaur we've got YG41, M5 and YG11 and then for Ivysaur we've got E000, C4 and FYR1 and for Ivysaur these are all the other colours we could have had So, and this one is BG23 so yeah right I'll just put these away and we'll do the final pick So guys, these were the ones I picked for Volpix. So we've got G99, YG00 and YG03. So yeah, that's the final three colours. And these were the other colours I picked. So I only really had one colour for Volpix. So yeah, right. I will put these away and then we'll begin setup.
So hi guys, I've finished the three marker challenge as you've just seen and I'd like to say that everything's quite a bit radioactive I believe. So we'll just go over my thoughts quickly. So here's the original Bulbasaur that I did following the colour schematics of the original. Here's the ones with the three markers that I got. So I got YG11, YG41 and N5 and let me just say with all my colour picks I think now I have radioactive Pokemon Pokemon radioactive so yeah I like them I'm not too sure on my blending skills between the N's at the YG and the N um, I mean as you can see there yes but overall I'm happy so the next, this is Venusaur, uh, um, not Venusaur, Ivysaur, how I coloured it when being able to choose the colours. And this is how she turns out when I am blindfolded and choose the colours. Again, just like Bulbasaur, Ivysaur is a bit radioactive. And we'll go over the colours I got. So I got FYR1. E00 and C4 so there was a bit of a theme going it seemed and then this is Volpix as I got her or as I coloured her in then this is Radioactive Volpix so yeah and here's my colour choices G99 YG03 and YG00 so that was interesting because I had basically a dark medium and a light and they were all green or yellow green green so that was very interesting to colour with um, but yeah so that's my thoughts and feelings on my three three marker challenges so if you like and um, want to see more or want to see any other Pokemon chosen or drawn or as a speed paint or want to see me do th more marker challenges in regards to Pokemon let me know um, hit like and subscribe and comment down below until next week bye guys